Hello, welcome back. Uh, in last two lectures, we have uh, begun discussing on atomic force microscope. I introduced about atomic force microscope. I uh, used uh, as a tool to get the topology of the sample surface through the force measurements and then uh, I discussed little bit about Lenard's and potential curve attractive and repulsive forces between uh, the tip and sample uh, in atomic force microscope where uh, a physical probe is taken and some uh, and physical probe is scanned over the surface to measure the force and then to get the 3D image. So, today uh, we will um, go and discuss we will be discussing on uh, main components of the AFM atomic force microscope particularly the cantilevers uh, used in the atomic force microscope and its fabrication method, how uh, the spring constant uh, we have seen in our last class, uh, class that how spring constant play an important role. Uh, so, to avoid snap to contact uh, we should have a higher spring constant and its resonant frequency is also important. important. Uh, therefore, the materials to be chosen for uh, making the cantilever is also important and also that the dimension of uh, the cantilevers that uh, dimension materials uh, will all play important roles on the spring constant value and resonant frequency that can be uh, achieved using a particular type of cantilever. So, if we look at the main uh, components of the uh, AFM, uh, I am not uh, if we do not go to much electronics, but just the main parts then uh, the in the heart we have a cantilever probe assembly. So, here is a probe a probe is attached to a cantilever sometimes we say probe means probe plus cantilever in AFM atomic force microscope. So, so because uh, the cantilever probe can be same material in many cases it is the same material mostly silicon or silicon nitride, but it can be also different material uh, when uh, I mean probe or when I mean cantilever in this cases that is a same assembly that is why I, I have written here cantilever probe assembly. Then optical detection system we have a laser here. So, a laser uh, light is falling on the back side of the cantilever and uh, therefore, the back side of the cantilever is coated with a reflective coating. So, that uh, um, very high reflection of the laser beam will occur and then reflected beam will go uh, and strike to a position sensitive detector, a detector is taken photo detector. When uh, the cantilever move upward in the z direction, the uh, deflection or reflection of the light also will move upward in the in our uh, position sensitive detector and then we know we can calculate how much it has gone up the cantilever has gone up. Similarly, uh, then we have a uh, x y z scanner the uh, sample sample uh, cert certainly it will move in different direction uh, uh, sample can be moved in different direction it can be the tip can be brought closer to the sample or sample can be uh, taken upwards. Uh, towards the uh, towards the tip and then we have feedback loop is nothing but a type of uh, electronic systems which controls everything the, their positioning moment etcetera. So, these are the uh, four major parts uh, in the AFM system and but the heart of the AFM is the cantilever probe assembly. So, in the cantilever probe assembly the cantilever is fixed uh, on a silicon base the holder and the tip is located at on the free end of the cantilever. Now, the curvature of the uh, FM tip is in the uh, range of 1 to 50 nanometer, 1 to 50 nanometer. Uh, the smaller the prop or smaller the um, apex size uh, better is for uh, resolution no doubt. Uh, if you if we take a FM uh, prop with a smaller or finer tip, then we can have a better uh, lateral resolution and the way technology is developed we can have now tip of size less than 5 nanometer. And second thing is that uh, the interaction force between the uh, tip and surface which is estimated by, um, by following the simple Hooke's law that the force is, is uh, proportional to the uh, displacement where uh, throw a constant uh, which is the um, spring constant or we say it is elastic constant for the cantilever and del z is the dis displacement. And the value of the k or spring constant varies in the range of 0 0.001 to 10, nano, uh, 10 Newton 
per meter depending upon the cantilever material and geometry. So, if we look at the requirements uh, for uh, requirements for the FM cantilever, there are two major requirements for the cantilever to be used in atomic force microscope. One is small spring constant. In last lecture, I was telling a larger k value will help not to prevent the snap to contact and here uh, I am saying uh, small spring constant. We will see why you know what is good and what is not good. And second requirement is high resonance frequency prefer preferably greater than 10 kilohertz and it is necessary for uh, for the high scan speed for the high scan speed. So, uh, in order to um, know why this requirement uh, we have to understand uh, we need to know that means how strong force uh, can be measured in the AFM how strong force because in AFM we measure the force and that force is utilized for uh, creating the image. Now, to know the how strong force can be measured in AFM uh, we can first consider the force between uh, two atoms in a solid force between two atoms in a solid uh, uh, in a normal solid uh, two atoms vibrate with a vibrational frequency of around uh, 10 to the power 13 hertz at normal temperature. So, uh, we I can write the um, uh, vibrational frequency is normally in the order of the vibration frequency of atoms in the solid uh, are in the range of uh, let us say I can write omega vibration is equal to uh, 10 to the power 13 hertz we know this and typical mass of the atom in a solid is in the 10 to the minus 25 kilogram uh, typical mass atom is in the order of is in the order of m is in the order of 10 to the power minus 25 kilogram and if we uh, if we consider the bonds uh, uh, or uh, if we consider atoms uh, atoms in a solid uh, vibrate uh, following the a simple harmonic oscillator uh, we can write the formula uh, like omega vibration if the vibration of the atoms in the uh, uh, if follow the model of harmonic oscillator uh, omega vibration can be equal to k by m or k is equal to omega vibration square m and if we put these values then we will find this is equivalent to 10 Newton per meter. So, the force constant is coming uh, between the atoms in a solid force constant um, that means uh, vibration is coming uh, that means spring constant k value is coming in the range of 10 to the uh, coming in the uh, coming coming uh, approximately 10 Newton per meter. And we know the distance between atoms uh, in a solids are in the angstrom range the distance between the solids are in the angstrom range the stand between atoms in solid solid uh, is in the uh, range of range of um, 10 to the power 10 meter so if this is the cases it is in the range of 10 to minus 10 meter then forces forces between atoms will become uh, the forces between atoms will be in the nano Newton level uh, nano Newton range. As you see here uh, the forces between atoms is in the nano Newton range and which is expected to follow the Hooke's law. So, now as the force between the solids is in the nano Newton levels. 
So, similar force should be exerted should be exerted by tip on the sample surface. If we apply a larger force then we will damage or break the chemical bond in inside the solids or we can uh, do the destructive uh, analysis for uh, for for the uh, if we actually need to do some uh, analysis destructive analysis then we can use larger force but for uh, measuring the surface topology or the surface information we need force in the nano newton range so the therefore the cantilever uh, if a cantilever with a spring constant of 10 newton per meter is used to measure the force we need uh, a cantilever with a uh, spring constant of in this range can measure the nano newton force inside the solids then bending uh, bending of the oscillation will be also in the angstrom range bending also will occur in the angstrom range uh, as we will we see later uh, uh, we should able to measure the bending of the cantilever in the angstrom level therefore able to measure the vertical height or z in the angstrom level so here the forces between the atoms are in the nano newton level and therefore we have to apply similar range of the force by the tip and that would lead to deflection in the angstrom range the cantilever deflection and by measuring the cantilever deflection in the angstrom range we could know step heights in the angstrom range so in order to have the uh, good uh, force sensitivity so, force sensitivity we can uh, we can light we know the uh, simple Hooke's law formula f is, is equal to k x. So, uh, where, where we can write del f is equal to k x, x is our deflection I, I can write del z. So, now if we have a high we, if we need to have a high force sensitivity uh, we should have a we need a small k value small k a small is needed. for for high force sensitivity in order to have a high force sensitivity to measure small deflection we need to have a small k value that is why the small spring constant is prepared or required in our atomic force microscope measurements and second requirement is the high resonance frequency prefer preferably greater than uh, 10 kilohertz and this is required for uh, high scan speed and we shall see later uh, in the dynamic mode uh, when the tip is in oscillating mode tip, tip will be oscillating and and that time uh, the in the dynamic mode of operation uh, in dynamic mode afn uh, we will discuss one static mode and dynamic mode in dynamic mode tip will be oscillating or cantilever will be oscillating and the signal signal is proportional to the omega naught divided by k so here uh, signal will be more if uh, this resonating frequency is greater and also k value spring constant will be smaller and if you remember also another um, uh, uh, another advantage of having a, a high resonant frequency of the cantilever uh, is that uh, 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 it can it can avoid the um, uh, it can become immune to external vibration if we have a higher resonant uh, frequency of the cantilever or the system then it will be immune to external vibration we have seen that in stm when omega stm omega stm is a high omega stm is prepared for uh, getting rid of the external vibration. So, similarly here also uh, having a higher resonant frequency will lead will immune the system from external vibration to a great extent. So, in that regard if we uh, you, uh, also we know that as per the basing harmonic uh, oscillator uh, equation. Uh, considering moreover uh, what we have seen that small spring constant is good and high resonant frequency is good. Now, considering uh, the basic equation 
of a harmonic oscillator. That is omega, uh, let us say we are talking about cantilever, omega cantilever is nothing but root over of k by m. So, what we see here uh, achieving these two requirements is not that easy task because if uh, we have a small um, k value then our omega cantilever will be small. So, having uh, if we want to reduce the spring constant our resonant frequency is going down. Similarly, if the resonant frequency we want more then spring constant will be more. So, fulfilling these two criteria at, at the same time is difficult, but it can be done if we have a smaller m, small, small m value, m is the mass. Here, uh, if we have a um, uh, mass of the cantilever, here m is the mass of the cantilever. If we uh, have a smaller mass of the cantilever, then we can have reasonably um, control this having a smaller spring constant and with a reasonably, uh, reasonably high uh, resonant frequency. Uh, if for like for example, our resonant frequency we need greater than uh, 10 kilohertz and uh, let us say small spring constant we need 10 uh, Newton per meter uh, for, for, for a frequency uh, of omega naught is equal to let us say we need 100 kilohertz uh, and spring constant of 10 Newton per meter then we need then m need to be 1 microgram. So, cantilever of 1 micro, microgram or a very small mass would fulfill uh, this criteria desired criteria. So, this way uh, we can achieve the requirements to study the uh, sample using AFN. Now, how these AFN props are uh, um, fabricated or um, produced? Normally, two types of props are used uh, with uh, um, one is rectangular cantilever and one is triangular cantilever. So, they are either made up of silicon or SI3N4 or silicon nitride. As you see in the that uh, prop uh, shape can be uh, of any size here uh, and this um, props cantilevers uh, are uh, of length around hundreds of micro um, hundreds of micrometer uh, cantilever lengths are hundreds of micron in length tens of micron in the width and few micron in thickness thickness is very small and this dimension will uh, play important roles in the stiffness uh, uh, spring constant all these values uh, of the cantilever. So, normally uh, as it is mentioned that SI3N4 and silicon materials are used. Uh, the technology of uh, uh, microelectronics uh, industry or silicon technology industry is utilized to fabricate uh, the tips or prop for at atomic force microscope and uh, tip can also be generated by forming as you see here it is a silicon uh, um, substrates having a pit here having a pit and then silicon nitride. Uh, SI3N4 is deposited by chemical vapor deposition technique and once uh, silicon nitride is deposited by chemical vapor deposition technique this silicon can be etched away after uh, this, silicon, this silicon can be etched away. Once it is etched away we will end up with a silicon nitride uh, cantilever and prop and we by, um, by um, controlling the thickness of the SI3N4 we can control this thickness that is normally in the few microns. Length uh, the tip uh, height, expected ratio, uh, the uh, type of uh, tip either conical tip or pyramidal tip or any type of tip shape can be produced by uh, this process. So, and the tip shape can have also significant uh, effects on the uh, measurements. As you see in this cases uh, there are two type of tips, one is a, a conical tip uh, with a high expected ratio. And, and a pyramidal ship with a low expect ratio. Now, they have uh, important uh, role in, uh, in the performance of the atomic force microscope. As you see here because of having high expect ratio it can come downward little close, close to the sample and also because uh, this um, uh, thickness of the uh, tip 
is small and therefore, it could give a better resolution compared to a pyramidal ship, pyramidal ship because it cannot come very close to the um, to a features of the sample it has to go move in this range therefore, here resolution is poor. Similarly, if the uh, here tip shape uh, if it is a double tip, if it is a double tip then uh, if the tip is like this then it, it will always be measuring two forces, two forces at the same places. If object is one also uh, in uh, uh, because of two tips we will measure two forces and therefore, you will see the features are looking like a all are uh, double. Uh, sing, single features are looking like a double this due to artifacts. This little bit of we have discussed while discussing scanning tunneling microscope. And fabrication of cantilever, how cantilever is fabricated? Uh, mostly uh, as we have seen the cantilevers are uh, uh, made with uh, SI uh, sil uh, silicon uh, or a silicon nitride and the uh, Semiconductor microfabrication, uh, microfabrication technology is utilized to fabricate the cantilever props, and uh, a particular thickness can be chosen. Uh, then uh, it can be um, the rest uh, silicon uh, SI3 and 4 can be deposited by CBD, and the rest of the silicon can be east away to get SI3 and 4 um, cantilever. The cantilever can be from single material uh, sing, uh, SI, uh, and that would. Uh, avoid the strain due to thermal mismatch of different material bonded together in the thin film cantilever. Uh, as I told the SI 3 and 4 is deposited on silicon substrate um, silicon uh, substrates by CBD method and it is done at a higher temperature. So, at, at a higher temperature, so there will be a thermal uh, uh, that means a mismatch creating stress in uh, SI 3 and 4 and thus that stress also can have a problem later stretch and therefore, uh, a single material uh, using a single material that uh, uh, could avoid the strain due to thermal mismatch of two different materials uh, when uh, thin film uh, technology is used to fabricate the cantilever. Uh, norm, and in addition to that um, if all parts cantilever tip are made from a single crystal it has a high uh, quality factor Q factor and that is important for uh, dynamic atomic force microscope. So, how this uh, cantilever prop assembly are fabricated? So, it is uh, begin it is uh, started with let us say silicon uh, substrate, silicon it is it is uh, told that we are uh, through anisotropic itching, anisotropic means uh, not isotropic, uh, the itching rate is different for uh, different planes of silicon. So, in this particular cases a, a 100 oriented 100 oriented silicon 100 oriented silicon was chosen first oriented silicon affair was taken and then uh, selectively uh, SI O2 is uh, deposited at a certain places this is done by lithography. So, what you can do is that first uh, you can uh, deposit uh, SI O2 through or uh, a silicon can be thermally annealed at high temperature or wet oxidation can be done. So, that uh, both sides of silicon can have SiO2. Once it is done as a complete SiO2 layer is formed then uh, some region can be covered by a suitable resist material, a suitable resist material can be covered some region. After covering the suitable resist material. Uh, the rest of the uh, rest of the silicon rest of the SiO2 rest of the SiO2 can be eased away. Sorry. Or uh, sorry it can be done in opposite way. Uh, you can take a silicon piece then coat with SiO2 either coat with SiO2 by thermal oxidation or by wet oxidation. So, after continuously uh, after a continuous layer is formed 
then one can put a resist one can cut the resist hole through the resist one can cut the resist material after cutting the resist material then some region can be removed and other region is not necessary to remove in this particular cases some region this region is removed SiO2 this region is removed this region is removed three different region is removed so now it is put into uh, it is put into a KOH solution KOH is each and and once uh, put into the KOH solution wherever it see the silicon it will eat away but it cannot eat away the SiO2 so but again anisotropic itching so itching rate itching rate is high uh, on 100 plane but low on 111 plane so as itching rate is high on 100 plane itching will be faster in that 100 oriented but itching itching it, it, it will be uh, itching rate will be smaller in 111 plane therefore it producing the facets of 111 as you see here facets of 11 here wherever this sites is producing facets once it is eased away a protective layer of si3 and 4 can be coated selectively and after putting the protective layer then again uh, uh, after putting the protective layer uh, si3 and 4 then further itching can be done this region can be further reached by further itching uh, for the removing the si3 and 4 layer one can have a complete uh, fabric uh, complete fabrication of a uh, cantilever silicon cantilever it is done through the si3 anatropic itching and in this way uh, one can uh, control uh, the uh, length width thickness of the cantilever and also the tip set by uh, using this lithography and the itching technique and the characteristic of fm probably if we consider uh, mostly uh, in almost all cases si3 and 4 silicon nitride and silicon are used as a cantilever prop in the atomic force microscope and uh, uh, what we see here the silicon nitride have a smaller spring constant less than 1 newton per meter on the other hand silicon has a high spring constant so similarly as, as per our uh, simple harmonic oscillator formula again when uh, spring constant is high resonant frequency will be high and here spring constant is low resonant frequency will be low again cantilever lengths are uh, can be in uh, can be of any any, any length one uh, one uh, would like to have or one desire to have cantilever configuration can be v shaped single beam normal uh, tip radius of curvature is here in case of silicon nitride it is normally 20 to 60 or 10 20 to 50 nanometer silicon we can have a much smaller tip because it made from single material uh, no second uh, um, deposition is occurred therefore tip shape is normally uh, smaller uh, with silicon uh, one can calculate the spring constant and then spring constant can be calculated uh, from the uh, geometry of the cantilever so this is the formula of estimating the uh, spring constant uh, using uh, the material uh, uh, constant or dimension material constant and dimension here e is the young's modulus uh, w is the width l is the length and t is the thickness one can uh, using this uh, material constant uh, and the dimension one can calculate the spring constant and also if we want a particular type of spring constant value uh, the dimension can be varied accordingly Uh, there are other ways of to calculate the spring constant one can calculate the spring constant by uh, thermal uh, noise method uh, here um, uh, the thermal noise is a um, noise of an ideal oscillator is related to the spring constant by this equation where uh, k is the spring constant here and del z thermal t is for thermal is the mean square of thermal amplitude uh, fluctuation of the oscillator so one can measure the oscillator um, amplitude the, that means oxylator means here cantilever uh, and one can measure the displacement of the free cantilever 
under a particular temperature uh, at a high temperature and then from that uh, one can measure the spring constant. Spring constant can be calculated by thermal method. There are other methods also available uh, to calculate the spring constant which I am not discussing here, uh, but uh, these are uh, uh, couple of methods which are quite um, uh, uh, easy um, quite uh, extensively used to uh, estimate the spring constant of the cantilever. Another factor which is more important is the resonant frequency, cantilever resonant frequency. So, the resonant frequency uh, can, is, uh, can be uh, again uh, calculated using this equation, the all values are given, here L is the length of the cantilever, uh, is Young's modulus, J is the inertia of the moment of the cantilever cross section, rho is the material density and S is the cross section and lambda i a numerical coefficient in the range of 1 to 100 depending upon the oscillation mode the cantilever oscillation oscillation can be of the different mode um, and the values varies from uh, 1 to 100 and this uh, frequency resonant frequency is normally uh, in the 10 to, 10 to 1000 kilohertz range and it also depends on the uh, quality factor uh, and the resonance frequency also depends on the in which me medium uh, the operations to be performed uh, and uh, because the again medium will also uh, have a role uh, in the quality factor of the materials. So, what uh, in conclusion we see here uh, cantilever um, with a, a small spring constant uh, gives uh, high uh, sensitivity uh, because, because of the formula of as we say C del F is equal to K del Z. So, a cantilever uh, with a smaller K value can give you give us high sensitivity del F sensitivity and cantilever with high resonance frequency is prepared for fast scanning in addition to the high immunity to the external vibration. So, in order to uh, have a faster scanning on the surface a higher resonant frequency is needed and higher resonance and in order to have a faster scanning on the surface our tip should not or crop should not touch the sample. If it is touch the sample we cannot scan fast. So, therefore, uh, in order to have a faster scanning our tip has to mop tip has to be away from the sample then only fast scanning possible and when tip is away from the sample if it is too far force will be uh, force of interaction will be small if it is too close then the snap to contact may occur snap to contact may occur. So, if the snap to contacts may occurs then it is nothing but a contact mode and in contact mode we cannot have a fast scanning. In order to avoid this snap to contact mode we need to have tip little away but within the uh, measurable force regime, but with a higher oscillation amplitude, with a higher oscillation amplitude. If the amplitude or higher oscillation, this, uh, this force of uh, amplitude uh, or oscillation amplitude higher than the force of the sample and tip, then uh, snap to contact will not occur and then it will uh, help us to a higher uh, scanning speed. Moreover, uh, with a higher oscillation amplitude, uh, gives a better signal because in case of uh, dynamic mode of operation uh, this signal is proportional to the resonant frequency of the cantilever. It, silicon cantilevers are fabricated using lithography and wet chemical etching as, as we have seen etching is done with a potassium hydroxide uh, potassium hydroxide solution and it is it is anisotropic etching where the etching rate is faster in 100 direction orientation where etching rate is slower in 1 1 1 direction and that helps us to create produce uh, tip a, a in silicon substrate. The cantilever spring constant can be measured using different technique uh, what we have covered using the material constant and dimension material constant with the Young's modulus and the dimension of the cantilever and also using the thermal methods one can use uh, one can calculate the spring constant. Uh, these are the main points of today lecture. For more you can find these two references book. Thank you.